are. There's a sense of separateness that you get in the Tower of London that is quite unique in the middle of a vibrant global city. But equally there are views that you have that are from outside the tower looking across it, uh, looking sideways and just from wandering around within the environment you get a sense of kind, the kind of place that you're in. In a way they add, they add symbolically to what the buildings were about. So the tower was always a fortress on the edge of London, the capital city, and was always in tension with London as the capital city. And to be able to see what London is doing from the tower was, was part of the reason William the Conqueror built it there. So that's, that just continues, I think. There's something quite exciting about seeing the Tower of London in juxtaposed with the modern buildings that are going up. And certainly there is a lot of enjoyment you can get out of that in certain views. Um, our argument though is that that need, needs not always to be the case, that there need to be some places where you can simply exist within the historic environment that's been here for a thousand years. If the Tower of London were put on the uh, danger list by the World Heritage Committee, it would be a huge embarrassment for the UK government and for those of us who look after the World Heritage sites. And that's why we've been working so hard to avoid it and to address the concerns of the committee. Well, I think we'd be very surprised if that did happen because there's been a great deal of work between us from the Mayor's Office, the other public agencies, the Royal Palaces Agency and government to look at how these, the Royal Palaces in particular are managed. There are management plans being developed between all the agencies now which we think deal with all of the concerns UNESCO um, has been raising. But these are continuing concerns which uh, must be expressed year in, year out. Because as, as we all know, you know London is, is increasing in population all the time. We have a huge um, influx of, of, of people from all over the world that treat Britain and London as, as a great financial re resource. Of course, the things that we're talking about won't stop development happening. They'll simply make it possible to assess new developments within a different context, within the context of understanding what the World Heritage Site should be, what its setting should look like. I think lots of people assume that visitors to London only want to see the old, they only want to come and look at the Tower of London or visit Madame Tussauds and I don't actually think that's the case. One of the things that keeps people coming back to London is that it is a city constantly reinventing itself and a new building, an iconic structure like the Shard could actually offer a whole new range of possibilities for tourists if it had viewing platforms or restaurants or bars. I think it would be an extremely popular thing for people to come and visit while they're over here.